According to my theory, it's not too late to say Happy New Year until after the Super Bowl. So it certainly isn't too late to make some predictions for 2017. You've seen the psychic predictions in the tabloids at the grocery store checkout line. Aliens will meet with Donald Trump and offer a solution to global warming. Michelle Obama will leave Barack and marry Kanye West. Canada will invade Alaska. The trouble with those predictions is that they're always wrong. I mean, come on, Michelle Obama can do a lot better than Kanye West. If these psychics were in school, they'd get an F. I like to be right. So in that vein, here are predictions for 2017. Number one, the Florida legislature will struggle to come up with a budget that pleases everyone. Number two, the pace of Everglades restoration will remain frustratingly slow. Number three, affordable housing will remain a problem in Collier County. Number four, Arthrex will do well. Number five, Naples High School will have a good football team. Number six, municipalities in Southwest Florida will look for ways to keep medical marijuana dispensaries out of their jurisdictions. Number seven, Billy Fusillo and John Morgan will be all over TV and radio. Number eight, Collier County and or Naples will show up on a number of lists. Number nine, Republicans and Democrats will disagree. Number 10, a giant sea creature will rise from the Gulf of Mexico, walk onto shore at the Naples beach and proceed down Fifth Avenue South, smashing buildings and eating cars. Its rampage will come to an end only when it steps in the hole dug to build underground parking on Fifth Avenue and Fifth Street South. That's nine out of 10. That would still get me an A in school, right? I'm Brent Batten, thanks for watching.